you know, the first movie we shot was just like a, you know, it was a little $10 million budget, which for Hollywood standards is small independent film, really. And we had no idea. I mean, it was my first big movie. It was uh, Justin's first big movie. Uh, Gina, was for her first big movie. So it was, it was pretty cool because we were all coming together just to make this movie, just because we, we wanted to do it. We loved working together. We had no idea it would become what it's become at all. And then, you know, uh, the movie came out. It was the number one movie in America. And next thing I knew, you know, we were, I was back in the suit. We were making Jeepers 2. <clears throat> and I'm proud to be part of the, the series because I, I think it really has held up well over time. I mean, it plays on cable all the time. Um, and I, I think it's a well-made movie. Both of them are well-made movies, so I'm, I'm pretty proud of it, you know. And it's been a lot of fun. I mean, I never envisioned myself playing a character like this. When You, you know, when you grow up and you want to be an actor, you never, like, think that you're going to play, you know, the creeper. Um, but it's been a blessing for me. It's, it's a lot of fun to make. Very collaborative. I mean, we talked quite a few times before we shot the first movie. Um, but you know, we kind of had, I think we kind of had something, we had a connection together creatively. We just connected creatively, you know, we would, I'd be at home and I'd be thinking about things I wanted to do or, or things I wanted to say with the character and then I'd call him and I'd say, Victor, I'm thinking about, he, he would almost finish my sentence, he'd go, yeah. You know, so we just really kind of, from the very beginning, you know, we, we saw the character similarly, similarly, yeah. And uh, so it was a great experience. And, and Victor's the kind of director where he just lets you try something, you know. You have a feeling about something, he'll let you do it, uh, and he'll add to it. And um, that's the best kind of experience you can have with a director when you feel like you have a lot of input and when you know, they by virtue of, they make you better, you make them better, they make you better, you make them better, you know, it's fun when, it, when it's like that, so, it's not always like that, so. I like, you know, I really like Bo, uh, I, I, um, I have to say I had probably more fun shooting the second one, just because, you know, I got to fly the whole time. I got to fly, you know, and there's a lot more characters in it, a lot more kids to terrify. You know, the actual shooting of it, I had much more fun making the second one for that reason. Um, but, you know, there are elements of the first that, uh, you know, I really enjoy the character elements, you know, and I think the character elements came out a little bit more in the, in the first one, you know. Um, and to your point, the second one was much more of a kind of a straight action, you know, film. But uh, it's still great, though. I, I love yeah, the film too. yeah, yeah. I, you know, it's hard to say which part I like playing more, as far as the enjoyment factor, too, for me. You know, so. I don't know that you'll ever actually see exactly where the creeper came from. I think we will probably give you hints along the way. You know, who knows how long the series is going to go. Uh, but, you know, we know, you know, where he came from. But uh, we're just going to, you know, kind of parse out clues along the way. Uh, I think it's much more entertaining that way. You know, it's, it's better. It's like the unknown, for me at least, is always scarier. What I imagine in my mind is always much scarier than when I actually see it. And now I'm like, ah. Oh. You know, I think the, the, that imagination, you know, as soon as you say where something is, what it's come from, where it's come from, what it can do, what it can't do, you build a fence around that character. And, you know, you're in that box. Um, by not you know, defining exactly what the creeper is, we're able to come out next movie and, oh, by the way, now he flies. And, you know, who knows what we're going to do next movie. You know, we give ourselves a lot of freedom to do whatever we want to do. So you, I don't think you'll ever really, well, I don't know if we'll ever say exactly, you know, this is where he's from. So, but we'll have a lot of fun along the way showing you a little bit here and there. So, yeah. yeah.
Well, the script's been written, um, and I got the script about a year ago and read it. It's fantastic. Um, can't wait to do it. Uh, we've had some hiccups trying to get the movie set up. Uh, set up rather. Um, you know, MGM had a little bit of financial difficulty for the last three years, and everything, all their assets were frozen, so we kind of got caught up in that. Um, but now they're coming out of bankruptcy, and we hope to get on the production slate. You know, so hopefully, pretty soon. I mean, it's ready to go. So. I would say yeah, my fans have been so loyal, you know, I mean, it's like our fan base. It's been exciting to have Jeepers Creepers and Jeepers Creepers 2 play so much on cable today. I mean, every time I turn the TV on, it's on. <laughs> so I love the opportunity to create a whole new, create a whole new fan base. I mean, there's, there's young kids now that are seeing Jeepers Creepers for the first time, just now being exposed to it. And so, you know, I relish the opportunity to get bring new fans into the, you know, into the franchise. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm proud that we're still so relevant today, 10 years later after we shot the first movie, you know. So hopefully we'll get a chance to do the third one. And uh, believe me, we'll leave it all on the, uh, on the, on the screen. And uh, that's it, man. Appreciate your, appreciate your fandom. Keep it up, damn it. <laughs>